Good morning, people! I am pre-recording this on Sunday, so you guys have a reading. So, I'm still wearing red. I just had a drama situation because this fell out of the SD card. But I found it on the ground, but... Yeah. <laughs> Normally it's like here, right? It freaking fell off. Well, there's something about my retrograde, right? Did it start already? <laughs> oh my. Something about today. Pay attention to orbs, the things you see, like flushes. I have had this. I have had this a lot today. <coughs> when I see, especially blue, it has been a thing for some days now. When I see blue, like light, tiny. Oops. Maybe we should see. Something is shifting. I mean, we had the 11.11 poll yesterday, right? And blue is connected to communication. It's like, I don't know. There's something. Blue orbs are a sign of calming presence or energy. And they can also be an indication of the presence of a spirit guide. I have also had this, like, it kind of feels like, well, I wanted to call it butterflies in my stomach, but I don't know if it is. I just felt something here. <laughs> Not a touch. I mean, well, like, it's just a feeling, like, it's a, like, you guys know this feeling, like, you know something is about to happen, but you don't know what it is. You can feel it before it, it arrives, in a way. <laughs> Does it make sense? This is what we use today, and I am using the spirit animal wisdom. I'm so tired, I'm telling you guys. That's why I pre record this because I think tomorrow I need to just take a complete day off where I don't pre record anything, <laughs> just sleep and relax. I have this like, it's very calming. Um, feeling. There's something about the stomach, like it. I feel it in the stomach area. Uh, just let it be. Let's just feel it and be in the present. Presence. <laughs> it just swooped down, right? And the card I see is uh, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around and through you. There you go. And the rabbit is strength. Take time to make clear decisions. Bring awareness and light to the situation. Yeah. Listen up. Let's see what is today is about. What is what is today about? <coughs> Starfish. I don't know if you've gone this before. Hmm. Intuition. We also have the blue. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Today is about think less, feel more. Are you a green candle? You're vibrating. <laughs> you guys see that? What the hell? Oh, I had a moment where I was just totally still feeling the table. I saw the, the blue again because I felt that the table was kind of shaking a little bit too. What is actually happening? Spirit, what is it that you're trying to tell me? Something is happening these days. I don't know what I don't understand what it is, but something is happening. Is it because the portal is uh, <coughs> open? Had like a rush of emotions. Very strange feeling. I don't know who's feel who's feeling. I don't know whose emotions I'm feeling right now. You guys see I'm tearing up <laughs> five by five. What is actually happening? Welcome to today. 
The starfish is um, the number 66, six, so 66 six is connected with balance. It's water, so yeah. It's deeply sensitive creature. So today you might be pointed out to the fact that you will be deep sensitive today and feel a lot. It prompts you to listen to your feelings and intuition. Always go with your first reaction, thought, urge. The one that comes from your heart. As it will not steer you in the wrong direction. Think less and feel more. It's, connect it's connected to Lepra Ride. This is the stone that we uh, actually spoke about in yesterday's. So if you have Lepra Ride, it might be the stone that you need to work with. It's so funny because I recently gave someone a Lepra Ride. So Lepra Ride is definitely a stone to work with if you have it. It is connected with the universe. I made a tiny video about Labradorite. Labradorite, I actually think I have a longer longer one too. If I can find it, I will link it up here. You can also use amethyst and apochilite, apochilite, whatever it is. So, with that being said, with this interesting, very interesting, feeling of today is that not a negative feeling but I feel there's something sensitive happening we are being moved into a sensitive um, emotion a new emotion we're clearing something I feel for a lot of you guys there's also perspectives or things that how you thought or what you thought of that's clearing you're reprogramming yourself but I feel your soul has already reprogrammed you, the human might still be attached to an old belief system or an old way of being. I heard someone say, hello, my old friend. <laughs> hello, my old friend. Oh, that's does that mean? <laughs> that made me freak out. Hello, my old friend. I'm just saying my little only light can be here, only light can come true, and only light can draw me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Not that it sounds... I don't know why it felt like it sounded creepy. <laughs> Hello, my old friend. I don't think it was meant to be creepy, but it put me into a, <laughs> a creep state. <laughs> I, don't, I am protected, I know. It's crazy how much I see the blue <coughs> orbs lately. What is the energy of today? Wow, Page of Cups. That's a very lovely energy. <laughs> Ace of Wands. What was it that, well, I know that's what I got told to follow the um, the butterflies, right? But also, if you look at the little girl, kind of looks like she's standing inside of a wave, right? Just... Letting the emotions, also again, just connect it with water, rush over you. Yeah, just tapping into it. That's very good news when it comes to the heart. Good news when it comes to a project. Obviously, it can be love with the cups, right? Good news when it comes to a new beginning. You're feeling young at heart today. So, regardless of. Well, maybe it's the heart saying that. Is it the heart saying, hello, my old friend? Today, I think you should pay attention to texts, text messages, emails, phone conversations. It can be about your finances, can be about love, but pay attention. I heard something about signing something as well doesn't have to be today. I heard it might actually not happen before January or February. I know for some of you guys it's a long, long time to wait, but if you're being prepared now. But there is some kind of offer today, good news, that might... I 
hørt træde i kraft, og jeg kan høre det Danish way of saying it, så vil det might be activated, og ja, yeah, don't even know how to translate that. Ja, yeah, it's being activated in January or February. But it's something you it's something you've been waiting for. I feel for some of you guys it's something that's connected with a spiritual lesson. And if I think about the message that we got for the week ahead with yeah, what was it again? Spiritual growth, right? Yeah. With the portal, that was it, yeah. Now that this is at the back, can I the back connected with the past, with the hangman being reversed. There's something you have realized about old patterns, or old belief systems, or habits. So, the past nine days, you have kind of withdrawn in a way, and realized something. So you're listening to intuition today when it comes to making decisions. It might feel overwhelming, I do want to say, especially because of this, right? But this is smiling. She has no clue what's about to hit her. <laughs> Maybe that is you. You have no clue what's about to hit you today. <laughs> like suddenly, this new beginning is there after maybe a chaotic time. <laughs> we have the Hermit. We have Virgo energy. We also have water, we have the fool, so taking steps. We have fire too, we have all the zodiac signs. But we know about the hermit, right? He does go on a quest, he does withdraw, and then comes out on the other side with wisdom. I saw a flash again. What is happening? It kind of freaks me out. It, it, it got hit by emotions again. What is this? Spirit. What I also, well, I said to myself, it feels like someone is being cut open, right? Like a wound is fresh. So it's like, it's like open, it's not festering, it's not nasty, there's no infection, but the wound is open. So there might be something happening in your life where it kind of feels like a wound has been opened, but the fact that I don't feel like the, the nastiness of, you know, something, it's just because something needs to be maybe released, maybe not, maybe it's actually more something that needs to be put in the cracks is where the light comes in you'll come to the end on a specific journey where a decision needs to be made today i do feel that for a lot of you guys but still i also feel there's something about january or february when it comes to signing something or something being activated in a way being like i don't know maybe it's something that's connected with also the planning thing we have gotten in the past got totally cold in my back. Maybe I should post this <coughs> today as well on Sunday. So you guys have two readings. Because I feel it's connected. Everything is connected. So what is the outcome of today? healing. What is the outcome for today? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. There's something you're ready for. Something you have... You have <clears throat> so you guys said something about job. Um, the end of feeling alone or the end of something. It's hard to pinpoint because I feel a lot of energy, so it's obviously different things for different people. Anything else you want to tell me about the um, Nine of Pentacles? It's so interesting, the past, especially the past week, I keep having, wow, like vibrations, especially around the head. Like, I don't know how to 
put it. Vibrations like tinglings. Queen of Wands. Um, oh! King of Swords. We had King of Swords yesterday. Interesting. I thought it was the Emperor, actually. Both of these characters looking directly at you. So I think your feminine and your masculine energy inside of you is begging you to pay attention to something that you need to take action on. The Queen of Wands is optimistic, right? It's our nurturing energy, is our feminine energy. The King of Swords is the, like we spoke about yesterday, it's this intelligent, it is intelligent, it's this logic energy. Also the sword is up, right? And it's interesting because with this card, in the normal tarot, she's actually carrying a bird. But the bird has this like hood on it. So she still needs to put the hood off the bird so that the, bo the bird can go deliver the message of the good news. Which, hello, we got that. But in this picture, it's actually like the king of swords. <laughs> that has that bird. I can't really, I don't know why I can't see if the bird has something over his head or not. But regardless, something is being delivered today. There's something about a message or news today. Specifically today. It can be a tiny thing. I feel it is today for a lot of you. And if you don't hear anything, don't panic. But... It's a very positive um, energy. Something is blossoming, in, is blossoming and blooming in your life. It's a lot of light. What is that book actually for this? Mm. It landed exactly on the Queen of Wands, so I guess that we take the Queen of Wands first. I love the Queen of Wands in this deck. Could always be something about a fire sign or air sign. Yeah. You will be very successful. It might be something with family or home or career, like I spoke about love. But I was actually guided to look at the um, King of Swords because he also looks very different in this deck. There's a way more optimistic energy about him in this deck, I feel. Also with the light coming from behind him from the forest, right? And the way that this um, rope, or whatever you want to call it, is just... Yeah, looks like the sun is shining because the sun is reflecting in the sword, actually. So maybe there's um, a... a clarity is reflecting something in your life, or the truth is reflecting. We also have this sign here that the sun is coming up. So it does feel like something is just about to happen today. It might happen pretty late in the day and pretty early. Or maybe for some of you guys it might not happen today. I know. But still it's happening. But maybe it's behind the scenes for some of you. Here, you have the king. Authority, a fair leader, judgment, justice, reason, logic, truth, ethic, honor. Swiftly turning knowledge into action. So... The knowledge that you're receiving today could be something you can turn into action. It could be through spiritual energy, it could be through meditation, I just heard. But again, we also have the Hermit, right? The Hermit goes on a quest to... Yeah. Yeah, and the Fool, the Fool's journey. We all know about the Fool's journey. We go through all the steps, right? 22-22. Okay, that's it. Thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.